Hey, Citizen Meta 1 here, and today I want to talk about some of the updates I've made to my MetaHuman VTuber rig that are pretty hilarious, uh, but also pretty cool, in my opinion. So the first is obviously that we can do a bit of this body idle animation, and this is being controlled by its own control rig that basically makes procedural idle animations that turn into dances or walks or breathing cycles. And so on top of that, we are now running my VTuber head solver that influences the body just a little bit and my IK hand solver with fingers. So the cool thing about this control rig that's controlling the body animation is that it's very easy to create different looking idle animations by just changing a couple parameters. So I'm gonna to switch to a different idle animation right now and it looks like this. So this one's a little bit more side to side. And there's a lot of different variations we can make. I can have the feet come off the ground. I can start to do even more wild ones, but I thought some stationary idle animations would be pretty funny. And again, the hands are completely free and I'm controlling these on my own. So that is the biggest update, but there's a couple smaller ones too. So I'm going to freeze myself now. This has zeroed out all of the control rig body idle animation parameters. And I'm just standing here and you can see that my head barely affects anything, just a little bit of spine movement, not very much. And I'm gonna move my camera here, which is a new feature as well. But I basically, when I'm VTubing, and say we get in front again, like around here, when I'm VTubing like this, I don't necessarily want like a ton of like idle animation, right? So I'll frame up maybe more like this. So I added this one in. And so this one's a little bit more subtle. And if I freeze my hands, which they're frozen right now, you can see that my body's just ever so slightly bobbing up and down, but I still have control over my upper body like this, or influence over it from my head. And my shoulders are doing the, the bouncy bounce and whatnot. So this is kind of like the more subtle mode. It's just a little bit of floating up and down happening while I'm talking. So those are the big, big updates, but some smaller updates here you might have noticed are that my fingers are much smoother. I can do things like this, right? And they're animating themselves a little bit smoother and they're mapped a little bit differently now because my hands on index controllers just sometimes have a hard time registering. So this is kind of forcing them to register and then also smoothing out the fingers. So that is the big update to this system. Um, like my motorcycle rig, I've made it so that you can move around into different views of the VTuber and this is green screen based, but this allows me to change it up, change up my view um, from close up to wide shot while I'm VTubing and kind of showing my main monitor. And then on top of that, as this gets wilder and wilder, we'll be able to add more animations like this. And they are customizable, so if I release this, people can make their own animations just by changing a couple settings. Um, and uh, I intend to make it so that it look, make, we can make it look like you're running or walking. And of course, this just basically happens for free. It kind of looks like dancing. I'm not saying good dancing, but it's not too much further to make this look like it's a run. A kind of silly run, but a run nonetheless. Here's go, here we go again on the other animation I've made here. So I'm just kind of moving my arms back and forth, trying to line it up with the dance here. And uh, this is getting pretty, pretty ridiculous. So that is the update. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace. Sort of peace. Still not always hitting peace. My goodness. At least we're hitting these funky dance moves. Okay, see you later.